Did you know that Genes3 has a central place where you can share and download Genes3 topologies? On the Genes3 website, go to Marketplace, click Labs, and you'll be able to download various labs. Anyone can submit labs. So as an example, Tom has submitted an HSRP lab, which you can download and import into GNS3. So multiple labs are now available through the GNS3 marketplace, and you can submit your own labs and share them with others in the GNS3 community. In this example, I'm using a Mac and the GNS3 VM, but the process is very similar if you're using Windows and a local install of GNS3. It's recommended that you use GNS3 version 2.1 or later when sharing labs. To share your GNS3 lab, firstly shut down your devices in GNS3, then go to File, Export Portable Project. Now this is very important. We asked, would you like to include any base images? It's your responsibility to make sure that you have the right to distribute images that are part of your project. In this example, I'm using Cisco IOS V layer two images. Because of Cisco copyright, I'm not allowed to share these images. So I'm gonna click no to ensure that the images are not exported as part of the project. Browse to where you want to save the project and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this Ether Channel Lab 1 and click Save. Add some information to the README file and click Save. The project is now exported. So on my Mac, I can see the GNS3 project. To upload the project to the GNS3 website, click Marketplace, click Labs, click Submit a Lab. Now you have to log in to be able to submit labs. So I'm gonna click Login and log in to the GNS3 website. And now I can enter a name for the lab. So I'm gonna call this GNS3 Labs Ether Channel Lab 1 and click Next. You can give the lab any name that you like. Note this please, GNS3 happily allows users to upload helpful resources to share within the community. Please do so respectively or your content will be deleted. So in other words, don't post trash. Make sure that you're posting decent labs and not spamming the GNS3 community. Under tags, I'm gonna add some tags such as CCNA, Ether Channel, GNS3 Talks. I can edit the name. So I'll make this GNS3 Talks Ether Channel Lab 1. You need to give a description for your lab. So in my example, I'm gonna copy the instructions from my GNS3 lab. So add some kind of useful description to your lab. Once you've added a description, you're going to wanna to upload a screenshot of your topology. To do that in GNS3, go to Tools, take Screenshot, and then save the screenshot to your local hard drive. Back on the GNS3 Labs website, click Upload Image. and select the image that was exported. So my image has now been uploaded. At this point, I'm gonna click Save and click View to view what the lab looks like. So that's what it currently looks like. I'm gonna go back. I still need to upload the GNS3 file. Extensions that are supported are GNS3 GNS3P or GNS3 project. 
So I'm going to select my GNS3 project file and drag it onto the GNS3 icon. The file is then uploaded to the GNS3 website. So don't forget, you have to drag and drop your project onto the GNS3 icon on the left-hand side to upload the file to the GNS3 website. That's now been successfully uploaded. I'm gonna click Save once again, and then click View to view my GNS3 project. That looks good. So the last thing to do is to click Publish to make it live. So now, under Labs, my GNS3 Talks Ether Channel Lab 1 is available. And I can test that by downloading the lab to my local hard drive. So it's now been downloaded. I'm gonna to go to File, Import Portable Project. I'm gonna select my Ether Channel Lab 1 GNS3 project and click Open. I'm gonna call this Test Import, click OK. And I've now verified that the lab has successfully imported back into GNS3. And I could start that lab up as an example and open up consoles to the devices. And I can see that the devices in my lab topology are now booting up. So there you go, GNS3 now has a central place where you can share your labs with others in the GNS3 community. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.